Okay, first of all, I'm going to show you how to download TCP optimizers. So what do you do is go to the internet and write TCP optimizer. And I put the downloads so it would find download faster. You can do that as well. Now you want to find this specific link, which says speedguide.net. It's the most safe option in my opinion. So just click on it. Now scroll a little bit down until you see TCP optimizer downloads. And what you want to do is just press this button right here is gonna say download the TCP optimizer now I create a specific folder for this you can do this as well I recommend it it makes your PC a little bit more clean in my opinion okay now you want to find your TCP file and just press on it and then run it as an administrator if you don't do this step some functions may not work so I definitely recommend that you would run this as administrator I'm waiting until PowerShell loads okay first of all connection speed put this to max it allows your pc to get the max internet it can get and it doesn't limit how much internet you will get so always it's a really important setting put this from 10 to max now go to the bottom and click on custom and as you can see everything turned from gray to black that means we can modify these few settings Okay, now we're going to change a few settings. And if you're not sure about any of the settings that I change, what you can do is just hover over it and hold for a second. And for example, what is Windows scaling? I, I can't even pronounce the last word. It, it just says it can override any user set TCP auto tuning algorithm. So that basically means Windows can change your settings. So we don't want that. This is just an example. First of all, TCP window auto tuning should be definitely be normal windows scaling should be disabled congression controller provider should not be cubic but it should be ctcp receive slide scaling should be definitely enabled rsc should be enabled time to live should be set to a value of 64 esn should be disabled checksum offloading should be enabled tcp chimney offload should be disabled lso should be disabled and timestamps should also be disabled now go to advanced settings okay now we're going to change all of these settings so on the internet explorer optimizations both of these max connections should be set to a value of 10. Now on host resolution priority, local priority should be 4. Host priority should be 5. DNS priority should be 6. And net BT priority should be 7. Okay, now go a bit down until you see retromissions and the max retromissions should be Two. This should be disabled. Initial RTO should be set to a value of 2000 and the minimum RTO should be 300. Type slash quality of service should be set to a value of zero and and do not use NLA should be set to one. Now for the gaming tweak, which is I think one of the most important. Network throttling should be disabled FFFFFFF. System responsiveness should be gaming zero, which is definitely the best one frequency should be disabled no delay should be enabled and ticks should be disabled by the way these settings that we just changed really help you with input delay your ping and your system responsiveness large system should be set to default size should be default max user port should be 65534 and the weight delay should be 30 and by the way you won't need any of these other tools they won't help you at all so all you want to do is just press apply changes this shows everything that is going to change and press ok and it says it may require a reboot so press yes and as you can see in fortnite i'm getting around 18 ping it's pretty good i usually get around 30 ping so i'm happy about it this tool works very well i used to use it all the time back in the day when I was trying to get better internet so I definitely recommend that you would give this tool a try if you have any questions about TCP optimizer or you disagree with any of the settings that I changed let me know in the comments thank you everyone for watching this video and if you want to support me even further please use code not Stelix in item shop it really helps me a lot so make sure to use it all right I'm gonna see you in the next video bye bye